Hi, uh, Steve Sheridan here for the NoSillaCast, and I'm here with Trey. 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 Yeah, Trey. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Now, what do you do at NASA? I'm the strat strategic, strategic communication manager for the new Space Launch System, and rocket, this, which is right behind us. And this is a beauty. What is this going to do for mankind? Oh, it's going to change the world. Uh, what this can do is expand our science capabilities and put humans further than we've ever gone before into space. Excellent. So, what's the first? What, what have you tested so far with this rocket? We, we fired everything on the rocket so far, except for the main core stage. So we fired the RS-25 engines, we fired the solid rocket boosters, and we've already flown Orion around the Earth. All we're doing now is putting together the gas tank, then we'll put it all together, test it, we get one test firing, and then we ship it to the Cape, put it all together in the VAB, and in June, July time frame of 2018, off we go. Very cool. So Orion, this is um, the capsule that will eventually hold uh, humans, correct? Yes, that's correct. About how many people will uh, that hold? You can see, hold four to six, but for the first mission it's going to be configured for four. four Very good. Uh, the first mission uh, in June or? No, it will be configured that way, okay. but it, it'll be stuffed with test equipment because we want to make sure it can handle the radiation of deep space. Okay, so um, when will this first go up with humans? Uh, it's scheduled for 2021 right now. Uh, we hope to make it then. Um, it all depends on budgeting and scheduling and everything else. But I see a, a building excitement in America for exploration, and hopefully we'll keep doing that. No doubt. Oh yeah, tell us that first mission in June. What are you gonna? What do you kind of ma map out that mission a little? For the, the main priority is to test Orion, but there's also a really cool point called the Lagrangian point. It's L L2 is what we call it, which is a point where the Earth Moon gravity negates itself. So if you put something there, it stays there. It doesn't go in orbit around the Moon. It goes in a really tiny halo orbit, which would be a really good place for. A gas station. Yeah, like a parking spot yeah, a parking for a gas station. Spot. Excellent. Or if you had to put up habitats, you'd always know where to find it. Very cool, very cool. These look oddly familiar to the solid rocket boosters from the shuttle. How yeah. Are they similar? Very similar. The, the shuttle uh, solid rocket boosters had four segments. These have five, so we get 20% more power out of each SRB. Very good. And uh, how would this compare to, say, the Saturn V that took us to the moon? Well, it's about 40 feet shorter, but it's got 1.3 million pounds more thrust than the Saturn V. So this will carry about 86 Mini Coopers worth of stuff <laughs> past into past low Earth orbit. That is impressive. So technology has come along for more, more thrust for smaller volume. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We're getting better, and we're, and we're trying to be as affordable as possible as we can. Because uh, exploration is important, and we need to do it. Well, we are big supporters at the NoSillaCast. We appreciate your time, appreciate Trey, and the by. best of luck. We'll be watching in June. All right, great, thanks. Thank Y'all take care.